Hey, what's up, guys? Check it out. It's the Zero Tech Dobby and the DJI Tello. All right, both of these things are awesome. Love them both. They both fly great. All right. I consider the Dobby a high-end hobby grade selfie slash pocket drone and I would consider the Tello a high-end toy grade pocket drone slash selfie drone. All right, All right. so I'm going to do like a little comparison for you guys, see which one of these guys are the better value for the money. All right, both different price points, so let's see which one of these guys are worth it. All right. Okay, so let's start with the Tello. Like I said before, man, this thing flies awesome. I love this thing. Super stable, has a couple sensors at the bottom to keep this thing stable. A lot of intelligent flight modes. It performs some awesome flips, you know? Flight time is great, you know? Um, okay, Wi-Fi, FPV. Long range, not so good, but when you get closer, this thing is pretty, pretty clear. Interface works great. The sticks on this thing is probably the best you're gonna get you know, for any sort of um, thing that you can fly with your phone, right? You can also get the accessory, the, the remote if you wanted to, right? And this currently runs at about a hundred bucks US. I mean, the price fluctuates up and down, but around now it's about a hundred bucks and it comes with some awesome lights too. Ah, my bad, right I'll put these on. <laughs> check that video out, guys. All right, so that's the Tello. All right, so let's check out the Dobby now, man. This Dobby is sick. All right, wow. this is a beast. It has everything you need. It's like the spark in your pocket. <laughs> All right, it has GPS, 4K, return to home, um, image tracking, 12 megapixel camera. Um, it's foldable and actually fits in your pocket. Right, brushless, telemetry, how high, how far. It has some sort of voice command. It can do flips, apparently. This camera is tiltable, which is a great feature. You know what I mean? And I went over 115 Ooh. meters with this thing and it has fail safes that kick in and it returned right to the spot 100. where I started from. So this thing, man, this thing is awesome. I love it. And currently the price is around 200 bucks US. You know, the price goes up and down every day, but around two bills US, right? And the ones that are less that claim to be, you know, what this is, um, you know, <laughs> You know, um, I think this is a good value too. Let's just put it that way because for the amount of extra money you got to pay for this, you know, and you get that and it's not as good, you might be disappointed. All right, guys, so in conclusion, what I'm really trying to say is these are both worth it, man. You know what I mean? So you got this, which is a beast, and this, which is a beast. Both separate categories, you know, tour grade versus hobby grade, but in my opinion, either one of these you get, you got a good deal, you know? You got this thing has everything, you know what I mean? And the ones that are lesser in this, maybe, you know, 100 bucks less, but then you don't have the GPS, you don't have the telemetry, the track, and the 12 megapixel Man. camera, and proven with reviews, all positive, right? Then you got the Tello, which you can't go wrong with, man. You can't go wrong with this thing. I mean, <laughs> perfect, you know, in terms of flight characteristics, flips, you name it, okay. and a pretty good camera. So for the price, both of these, I think is a good value. I consider this a tie, <laughs> all right? So see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, and you know, hit that notification button.